so your we mentioned earlier about your Webster Grove series of books. Yeah. Those were taken down because you know, they were being reformatted and rebranded, and yes. they were not back up yet, right? No, no. The plan was to have them back up by the beginning of November, um, but I, I have stressed this a million times to my readers. They know me very well by now. I am not a multitasker, so when I say, yes, I'm going to get this book out to you, I should know better than to take on another project and expect to get everything done because I, my attention usually goes to one thing and one thing only. So I'm kind of juggling things right now, and they're going to be yeah. up again as soon as possible. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, you know, I can imagine that that would be very time-consuming because when you're self-publishing, you're not, you're not only writing the books, you're having to, yeah. to do all of the other stuff to make sure that it gets on iTunes and Amazon and yes. the Nook store, you know, yeah. all that. And, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm surprised that even with all that, you have time to write at all. So... It's a little overwhelming, but you you learn to adapt. Um, eventually, it becomes like second nature, where you're like, at first, you're it's like hours and hours and hours of work, mm -hmm. and then it just becomes kind of like minutes of work. And um, I'm saying that now, and yet I still have a ton of stuff that I need to be doing um, yeah. that's not getting done. But really, if you manage your time well, I don't. But if you manage your time really, really well, it's easy to do. Yeah, you just learn. You learn to I do it. So do you set aside, I know that you have a young son, so do you have to set aside time each day to rot or? Uh, it's not any set time. It's basically whenever he lets me write. Um, and he's he is an angel. He's, he's a great kid. I usually can squeeze in some time in the morning before he's up, um, some time while he's sleeping at night, and usually during the day while he's at school, and that usually gives me a good amount of time. Uh, and yeah. sometimes I can just get it done while he's sitting in the other room playing. So yeah. it's never one set amount of time. It's just whenever I can get it in. Yeah. Well, that's that's really good that you know you can just kind of pick it up and yeah, do it like that. Because I know some people have to be very regimented with their their writing schedules. So right, right. Um, so your books, they are online. Do you yeah. read the feedback when someone downloads a book? Yeah. Um, I, if, if I get an email um, and someone's like, obviously I read all of my emails, so if someone writes me and they're like gushing about it or they're writing me and they're hating it, I, I'm reading the emails. Um, yeah. I do not read the reviews. I cannot remember the last time I read a review. It was right after everything really kind of took off last year. and It was like April or May. Um, I, you know, Suddenly I'm seeing all of these sales pour in and then all of these reviews following those. Yeah. And I'm reading the good ones, and I can just feel my ego just, it was like inflating. Um, yeah. but then I would read the bad ones, and I would just go like cry in the shower. Um, so it kind of got to this point where it's like it's, it's going to be really bad for me either way. Right. So I stopped, I stopped reading reviews um, a long time ago. Yeah. If it comes in email form, I will read it. But if, if it's just on one of the websites, I, I do not see it. Right. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that I would be able to do that either because it would seem like if you read something positive, then you would feel like you you had to surpass what you did in that book. Yeah. If it was something negative, then you would constantly have that voice in your head while you were trying to write. You right. know, well, that's not good. They're not going to like that, so I have to change that. So, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that I would read them either. It's not so much either that um, with the bad reviews that I couldn't take the criticism. It's, um, I mean, it, it's rough. It's never nice to hear someone say, I hated this book. Um, but I would want to, every time I read something bad, especially if they wrote something very specific, I found myself wanting to go back and change those things. And being self-published, I have the power to do that. I can go back and change those things. But then I'm like, wait, there were these people who didn't care, these people who loved it, these people who hated it you know, you can't make everybody happy, right. um, and that, which was one of the decisions I, I had to make. I'm like, I, I can't make everybody happy, so I just have to stop. I have to stop reading them and just trust my instincts and go with it. Yeah, yeah, and if yeah. you try to make everyone happy, then at some point you're going to be writing something that doesn't make sense for the characters. So, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah so I, don't, I, I would do the same thing as you. I wouldn't read any of them, positive or negative. You're just asking right. for trouble. Yep. <laughs> 